What's up, y'all? This is Daniel with Pride of the Southland Kennels. Got a yard uh, setup update that I wanted to show y'all, along with some other exciting news for me. Got the chickens free ranging a little bit. So we got the yard sectioned off into three separate yards. We got our boxers over here in this yard. They built off of that other fence. Came down here, they got their own gate, fenced off area. They run all day. Needed to separate the boxers and the bulldogs because like I said in my last video, at times they can cause issues with each other. Through the fence, no issues yet. Being followed by all my dogs. There's Monroe, Memphis, and then we have this fence over here that runs a pretty good length. Got all the puppies in here right now. My youngest son is trying to sneak off. He don't want to be on camera. That's my helper. He's out here with me every day. There goes Monroe. We just try to give the dogs more running time. Neelan's up in the kennel right now because he decided he wanted to stay focused on the chickens versus eating, so had to put him in a kennel and get him to go ahead and eat his meal. That way the other dogs could get out so they wouldn't eat it. But that's the update. This is a pretty big yard. I won't go in there right now because there's so many pups in there. I don't know the exact dimensions, but like I said, this is about an acre altogether. The boxer yard is the smallest yard, which there's just two dogs in there. So, But I wanted to share this with you. I also wanted to share a couple of things that may be in the pipeline for us. We were asked to be featured in a, a docu-series episode of American uh, over the American Bulldogs. I'm going to be getting some footage of the dogs, sharing that, have an interview this Saturday. Hopefully, our interview and our dogs <clears throat> make the cut, but if they don't, you know, it's still, uh, still an honor to be able to speak with these people. I'm not going to mention their names in case something falls through and they don't decide to use uh, our footage, but like I said, Still a great opportunity for us. Hopefully it makes the cut. Uh, there's several, several other people out there that could have been, uh, that could have been chosen for that. Um, so I'm honored to have the opportunity. Other thing is we had a company reach out to us, wanting to partner with us. I'm not gonna mention their company name or what field they're in, but they're in the pet industry. Stuff like that may happen all the time on YouTube, I'm not sure. Uh, so, I'm not counting my chickens before they hatch on that, but exciting stuff happening. Um, there's Miss Dottie. What you doing, girl? She's getting a little bit more confidence in her, especially when she's out. She runs the fence line pretty well, and anytime something or somebody comes up to it, She's not afraid to let us know what's going on. Excuse my pig pen. I got my trailer and my transport pen set up over there so we can practice loading them up a few times because in a few weeks they'll be going to the processor. As um, soon as Dolly comes in the heat, we're going to try to get her bred. I know I focus on the bulldogs a lot, but Dolly's a pretty good dog. I like her muzzle on her. Uh, she does show drive. Knox, um, he's actually caught a pig for us. Give him the opportunity to do that. A uh, little bit different. Quit, Memphis. Get down, girl. Sorry. Um, 
yeah, what I was saying, Knox has caught a pig for us. Uh, he would catch him, release, and go back and catch again. He wasn't very confident with his hold, <clears throat> but I believe he's capable of it. Which that's been several months back when that happened. I just don't talk about it much. So Summit is in heat, which means Monroe will follow. She's showing signs right now. Um, and that's why Summit is not down here right now. She's been in the yard a few times and done really well. But we've got her separated right now. Don't let her out with the other dogs because we don't want to breed her just yet. We're going to wait. Uh, See how she does because she had issues last time. But this is just kind of a walk and talk video. Show the yard, the gates, the updates, things like that. Talk about what's coming up. Uh, I'm thinking Monroe will par uh, probably be able to be bred within two weeks. I believe she's coming in. We should start to see more signs tomorrow, the day after, next next few days. So it'll be a repeat breeding between Neyland and Monroe. Uh, actually, right here, this Brindle girl beside Memphis. Still haven't got my fence put up. Uh, but anyways, that is a uh, Neyland and Monroe production. These dogs are calm, the ones that I kept. They're calm, but they have the attributes that I'm looking for. Um, well, one other update, speaking of that. Teleco right there, he's out of Neyland. And, well, all them pups right there are out of Neyland and Summit. But Teleco, the Brenda one. Um, these pups are about six months old. We're going to try our hand at some goats pretty soon. I need to stop procrastinating. I've been trying to set myself up to be, um, or for the setup to be as perfect as possible. And that's just never going to happen because anytime you do a setup or change something, these dogs will let you know real quick that you can't read their minds. So something will happen. You'll have to tweak it. Um, which is already what's happened in this yard. You know, with Neyland in his feeding time, which is why Neyland is in his kennel. This also is a production of Neyland and Monroe. Dottie. Pretty calm dog. Um, confidence just isn't there right now. Um, all the time. It's there. She's got it in her. She's still young, though, too. She's out here with a lot of dogs. Uh, it's just the older dogs that she's not really as confident as I'd like to see her uh, when she's around them. But strangers, strange animals, strange dogs. She meets them at the fence in a heartbeat. Really, really quick dog. That's Mr. Roan. So not, not really just one topic for this video today. Uh, by the way, that white dog, that was that was Monroe. Just going over several different things. Getting a lot of hate email and messages, comments. I guess once you hit a thousand subscribers, then people get on your case. But I can promise y'all, to everyone that likes to leave a negative comment, your comments don't phase me. Um... I'm just a determined person. If you think I have Labradors or Amstaffs or Band Dogs, I get Teleco already, um, then you just don't know what you're talking about. And um, I've got some great opportunities coming to me. Um, hopefully everything pans out with them. If they don't, they don't. We're gonna still be here um, doing our thing. If you've watched the video this long, I appreciate it. But uh, none of this is possible without the help of my wife and my two 
sons. I don't mention them much because we don't like all of our personal information out there, but if it wasn't for them, this wouldn't be possible. So stay tuned. Like I said, Neyland and Monroe should be, uh, that breeding should be going down within the next couple weeks. Thank you all for watching.